it's it's nice to be back and probably everybody was watching the tv or saw the video afterwards and really felt bad because it doesn't look nice and probably a lot of riders recognize themselves also in being a bike rider so i think a lot of guys will you know will come to me and say hey it's good that you are here like all of you said and it's nice for me and then my response is always yeah i'm happy to see you too you know because in the end we all do it together in my mind i i've already won a couple of races but uh the body has to work together with me and I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but, uh, like I said, if my trainer says that the old Fabio is still in there and I can sometimes feel on training that it's going quite well, but, uh, training and racing is different. So I hope to win a race and I'm, I'm, let's say 50% sure that I'll win a race and, the other 50, I'm not so sure. It depends if I'm in front of Kevin Desjofi or he's in front of me, but uh, I wouldn't mind being a lead out for him. Uh, I have a lot of respect for his palmares and he's the best sprinter, I think, in the history of cycling. So I think the first sprint we'll do is probably I'll help him. And I think I only want to sprint if I feel really good and I think I can win, but right now, I don't think that's the case. Uh, like I said, the body still has to get used to racing. So it could also be that when we reach the final 10 kilometers that the legs are, are a little bit empty or the, the, the focus is a little bit gone because everything has to build again. But if I can help Kev get a stage win and then if I'm good enough to go for a stage win myself, I'll, I'll, I'll speak up and I'll raise my hand. But I think in the beginning, it's more up to the other guys. I looked quite sharp because when I returned from Poland, I lost five, six kilos. And without teeth, it's a little bit harder to eat it all back. But uh, the picture you see there is after my second surgery, in which I also struggled to eat a little bit. So the surgeries were like a imposed diet that I had to follow because, uh, but compared to last year, I'm, the basis is, is there now. Last year, I came back from altitude camp and I think I was in top shape to start racing at the highest level. Uh, but right now, I'm, let's say, two months uh, into training, really like the base is all right. And now it's working towards that, that last 10, 15%, which uh, is hard to do at home because you, I think... We are a racing sport and we need races to improve. And, and that's what I'm, I'm here for now, to get the balance between training at home, racing here, and then get the momentum again and hopefully build towards bigger races uh, towards the end of the year.